answer. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. We've got something a little bit different than what we normally do because we build a lot of track cars and show cars and SEMA builds and stuff like that. But this is one of our first like customer requested drift build and it's on a Corvette C6. I've got Anthony here. He was the lead technician on the build and then Dylan who was the project manager so they're here to talk about all the little details and the challenges that we had to go through for all the different things we had to do. So I mean pretty much start off with the cage. Um, six point obviously studio RSR cage um, bolts in like any of our other cages. Um, if we go back down to the wheels you can see he has a full wheel wood set uh, four piston in the back and then six piston in the front. He also has his hydro e-brake from Willwood where um, you have to add, I think it goes to Drift HQ um, <laughs> bracket that bolts exactly to where the OEM e-brake is. You don't have to cut anything really. There's a little bit of shaving on the knuckle, but that's about it. So the hydro for the <clears throat> handbrake uh, connects to those little rear gray calipers. And then uh, the reservoir and everything is inside, so you can refill it whenever you need to. Really With accessible. the OEM. With the OEM bezel yeah, all trimmed to fit. Uh, sadly, you don't have cup holders anymore, but who needs that in a drift car? And then if <laughs> you go to the front, we added these, I think it was like 85 millimeter wide body kit. Insane. The wise fab pushes the wheels out a lot. So adding that wide body helped a lot. It took so much convincing. Cause like at first the customer didn't want to just cut the fenders. And then, what did, did we cut them? Yeah. Did we, we did. end up cutting them? Yeah. We did. And it's still, okay. it wouldn't, it and then it, it still didn't bad. clear. Yeah. So super, that, I think that's my favorite part of the car, dude. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Like, and it, it flows a, with not even having the wide body in the rear, too. Mm -hmm. it yeah. Just, it, it just gives normal. it such a, like, an aggressive stance, yeah. like an actual drift car. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, obviously, the custom bash bar uh, fits in very nicely. But, with yeah. the bumper yeah. cut, too. Front bumper is still on there, partially. Front bumper, yeah, it's still on there, cut yeah. to fit the bash bar. Um, makes it very clean. <clears throat> OEM-ish. We didn't. The seats. No, what did we, okay, we did like. Oh, I heard you have those though. The oh. Wisefab kit consisted of what? The angle kit in the front. Yeah. What else? Extended. Anything in the rear? Extended inner tie rods. Nothing okay. in the rear. Rear is completely stock. Oh, okay. Besides the hand braking. But we we deleted the leaf springs. Thank God. They're BC racing coil. BC, yeah. Can you forget, dude? <laughs> I mean, a lot of you drift guys are probably like, yeah, that's like the basic bucket list building a drift C6. But we had a hard time on a few things from what I remember. Yeah. I mean, the angle kit, I tried to put on one piece. It did go on in one piece. I think there's a different way of doing that, which would have been easier, but I got it to work. The brake line routing is sketchy. Definitely, oh. if it was a track car, we would not be doing that. But it's like, there's no other way with this long of a travel and or, uh, this steering long angle. Of angle to have the brake line secured to anything without it just you have, it'd have to be like a modular brake line that can move. Clip or something. Yeah, yeah, something flexible. But it's a drift car, so we put it in a place that it's not going to rub on anything, and it's a stainless steel line. And mm -hmm. it looks sick. <laughs> <laughs> For me, well, I don't know why he powder coated it, and then like Dylan handled like the project, right? So he's talking to the customer about colors, all this stuff, what yeah. needs to go on, what we suggest, <clears throat> what it needs, mm -hmm. and then it shows up today, and it's fucking purple. But the cage is white. Yeah, I mean that, that was partially my idea. So, oh my uh, god! <laughs> the brakes are yellow. Or the brakes are red. He kind of wanted to do like a rainbow theme in the front with the brakes. Yeah, but it's not enough colors to do that. And then the sway bar is yellow, exactly. and then the wise fab's blue. Yeah, the purple's sick. No. Yeah, it is. It's really not. It is. It's sick. It's just that it it's doesn't a drift match car. It's not supposed else. to match. I guess. Yeah. We're gonna do green wheels in the back too. Oh, it's gonna god. get covered with tire <laughs> shreds anyway. So my design input on the crash bar was to have this angled piece right there because it looks like, kind of wanted to mimic the C8's front bumper vent. Mm. Vent. Which it does, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, dude. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we kept all the functionality. Radio still works. AC still works. Um, you have your brake reservoir right here. Dude, that could be your dream. Yeah, you can so put you your Kool-Aid and Gatorade in there. <laughs> you can still fit a drink in here, a really small one. Yeah. Um, shifter's still functional. We did have a problem where you're like, where they want this bracket to sit, it doesn't very like to sit there. This is a larger handbrake, so um, getting it to fit perfectly was a little... Yes, we had tight. to have Carlos in our fab department come up with a whole plate design for that. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Mm -hmm. It's solid now. 
Yeah, the same Earlier it was like, before we before we reinforced it, it was kind of shaky. I was like, that's not gonna work yeah. when you're trying to send it. Um, you still keep the functionality of all this. <clears throat> all this is still here, the whole mirror. We, he wanted to keep it as stockish for the center console as possible. Um, obviously all like the carpet and trim pieces for everything else is gone. <clears throat> but as far as like your cluster and infotainment system, it is completely stock, which he was really, I hope he doesn't think he's gonna drive it to. Oh, he's gonna daily this car. Oh, he's gonna daily it. He's gonna daily it. Oh, we didn't even God. mention this is a a one owner, twenty thousand mile. Twenty three thousand mile. Twenty three thousand. C six. C six. One Very owner. Clean. He bought it from some old guy. It is super clean in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. So kind of sad, but yeah. cool at the same time. Yeah. If it gets taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> so, Fender. let's try it out. I want to see what this is like. Please tell me this has sliders, Leo. Um, fuck, okay. Let's see if I fit. All right, I think we're okay. Not where I would drive. Well, actually, no, that's nice. I assume Dylan had him come and test fit the seat position, right? Yeah. Okay, thank God. Just hold it. <laughs> okay. Definitely gonna need a helmet with his seat position. Okay, we made it down our driveway. The steering ratio is totally different. Okay. One day we're gonna go with him to probably the skid pad at Willow or the balcony and then uh, really get to do this because obviously we're we're here by the shop on public streets so we can only do so much but yeah hopefully he's gonna pick it up like it and then Good see what see I want him I want to see him drive it yeah yeah oh god dude I know if I let him drive it here he's gonna to get uh, more like seat time at the track, get some accurate, super nice drifts. Pull it to the back since we're gonna go. Okay. Man, I wish I could send it. Ugh. How do you turn it off? Hold it. Oh. At the bottom. At oh, the bottom. Uh, What's up? What's up? Is she done? It's done, bro. It's done. Finally, bro. I'm so excited. What's going on? Bro. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, the pr dude, the purples are fucking insane, dude. Oh my god, dude. Wait, let's look at the inside. Bro. The hydro too, bro. That came out so good in the cup holder. Are we taking it for a spin or what? Dude, I'm so excited. Holy shit. It's raining too, bro. It's raining too. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, the angle kit. Dude, full wise fab, man. Bro, the purple six. Bro, look at that angle. Holy shit. That's actually like insane. Purple? I don't know. I was like 50 50 on Bro, honestly, it came out fucking insane. Yeah. So I like it. I like it. For now, at least, it looks sick. But. Dude, this came out so sick, the front end. I thought it was just gonna be a bunch of pipes. And now, like, did I look at it, I'm like, holy fuck. Dude, that's actually insane. Yeah, bro, let's see you swing it. Let's do it. Let's, do it. let's take her out. 